she turned it to an old model, model to cut back on screen time. Switching to a flip phone uh, proved inconvenient, but also was the tech reset. This time of year, everyone asks when you like least about your life, but they, uh, but they praise it as, what's your New Year's resolution? My biggest regret of 2023 was my relationship with my smartphone or my tech appendage, as I've named it in my iPhone setting. My app screen time report regularly uh, clocked in at more than five hours a day. Sure, some of that time was gameplay spent on activities that enriched my life or, uh, or are unavoidable. Work, the family text thread, reading the news, and keeping up with far-flung friends. But I reached for the device more than 100 times each day, according to my report. And that grasping was increasingly accompanied by the kind of hugey regret that I associated with unhealthy behavior, that feeling I get after I drink too many glasses of wine, finish the whole bag of sour gr gummies, or stay at the poker table when I'm on tilt. So in December, I made a radical change. I ditched my $1,300 iPhone uh, 15 for the $108 or big journey of flip phone. It makes a phone call and the text and that is about it. It didn't even have a snake on it. It may seem strange to go retro in the age of chat GPT, artificial intelligence powered personal stylist and the neural link the brain implant. But with the advanced technology poised to embed itself more deeply in my life. Not my brain, though. Please never my actual brain. It seemed a perfect time to correct courses with the existing tech uh, that already felt out of my control. Making the switch was neither easy <clears throat> nor fast. The decision to upgrade to the journey was apparently so uh, preposterous that my carrier wouldn't allow me to do it over the phone. I had to go to the store. My seven-year-old stared in disbelief at the technological relic on display beside a collection of slicker devices with touch screens. That's the point you want? Are you joking? She asked, rubbing her fingers over the obic journey's plastic journey. The journey has been panned by dumb porn connoisseurs. Not only is the battery life at the laughably short, it does service, it loses service when it's on the move and has to be rebooted to reconnect. But it was the only so-called minimalist pawn that my low-bodied carrier suppo supported. There are superior options with reliable service available, and some even have mapping capabilities, music players and voice to text. The minimalist market has expanded in recent years. I survived, even thrived during the months. It was a relief to unplug my brain from the internet regularly. Said that the Joes who created a dumb porn finder to help people choose among 98 models he had tried. The journey did not make the, the list. 
people are digitally fatigued after the pandemic, after having to be online all the time, said Mr. B28, who is still online, enough to manage the dumb porn, sub subreddit, and regularly post reviews of the device on YouTube. I have found personally that the more boring the screen, Mr. B said, the easier it is, uh, it is to not be addicted to it. I received a robot vacuum for Christmas, which could be set up only with an iPhone and the app. Breaking bad habits. I asked my seven-year-old what she thought of this flip-on mom. I like it better. You don't look at your pawn as much, and you spend more time playing with me, she said, making me feel both wonderful and terrible. My social circle she anchored for the months. I didn't send a blast of Happy New Year text too hard via flip, and I disappeared from Instagram, causing one friend to send me an are you okay message. You might think I would have a fear of missing out, F-O-M-O, -O, but I didn't. Maybe because all the interaction I was having felt the richer. As much as I love my flip phone life and the mental reset it provided. I think I might get tired if I failed to respond in a timely manner, to slack the message and the emails as open as I did in the, the months. Some tech critics, however, are skeptical that individual strategies are the way forward. More and more people are starting to see that these platforms these products are intentionally designed to be addictive, said the C, a policy manager at the Center for Humane Technology, a non-profit organization in California found, founded by former tech employees to raise awareness about the negative effects of the kind of product they worked on. Yeah, MidC compared smartphones and the social media apps to junk food and tobacco and suggested that lawmakers should regulate the design of these products to protect our health. For now, though, it's up to us.